Hi there and welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to talk about the newly released X-Ray X4 composite caster gauges, which they look like this. It's a very simple but neat tool which I'm going to explain what it's useful for. Because you may ask, why do you need caster gauges for the X4? The caster is fixed. And yes, that is correct. The caster is indeed fixed on the X4. You can adjust it in steps with different uh, bushings for the upper clamps, which you can change the bushings and you can also turn them around because they're eccentric to achieve different degrees of caster, both in the front and the rear of the car. And when do you then need to check the caster angle? For example, if you had a big crash, which you fear that you had uh, damage to the car, um, it's good to have these caster gauges to make sure that the caster is still correct. But before actually checking it, I usually I take the upper clamps off the car and I put them on the board to make sure that they're flat. I mean, it's an aluminum part. It can bend. It's difficult to bend it, but it can bend. And we put it here, make sure that there's no rocking in any direction going on. Uh, but also take care and pay attention to to the aluminum part because there might be some flashings here from the thread from the manufacturing process make sure there's no, no flashings there that can affect uh, the way that it sits on the board so it, it can actually be flat but there can be some little bit of aluminum left here that's causing it to not sit flat on the board but actually then it's just a cosmetical problem because all you got to do is, is cut it away so once you check that that it's straight Put it back on the car and uh, I'm going to explain how you can use these caster gauges to check the caster on, on the X4. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate now how to use these composite caster gauges on your X4. Uh, we're going to use the Hoodie setup gauges for this. They already have a scale here printed for the caster. So they're already made for this purpose. So we're gonna put these on the front. We're gonna start with the front axle and then we're gonna repeat it for the rear axle just to make it extra clear how you check the caster. Okay, so these, they mount onto the, the upright here. You can use any screw to to fixate the, the part onto the upright. And it has a tight fit, but it's for a good reason, so that it gives you a super accurate measurement. There's no play here. So tighten it properly here. Make sure it's tightened all the way down and flat. Um, okay, so now we check the, the caster here. As you can see on the scale, it's four degrees or slightly above four. The X4 has the upper clamps pinned onto the lower bulkhead so that the caster basically cannot change because of, of tolerances. It can change very, very slightly, maybe by 0.2 at the most. So it can vary between, say, 3.8 to 4.2 degrees of caster. Unlike some other manufacturers' cars, which the clamps are not pinned into the lower bulkheads, the caster can deviate a lot more, so it's much more difficult to have a consistent um, caster setting. Whereas on our car, it's fixed, so you can use these tools to, if you want to, you can adjust the caster between 0.2 of a degree so that it's actually perfect on the gauge. In this case, I'm gonna leave it because it's at four degrees or slightly above, so that's right where I want it to be. Okay, so let's say that you have a bit too small of a caster value or a bit too big, then how can you adjust this? I'm gonna explain. If I want to reduce this caster, because actually it's almost 4.2 degrees here. If I want to reduce the caster, what can I do? Because of the upper clamp being fixed into the lower bulkhead. Uh, there's a small tolerance here in the upper arm. For example, these screws and pivot bolts here, they have a small tolerance in them. So you can actually move them a little bit back and forth here. So for example, here we can push the upper arm forward before we tighten it down. That way we can change the caster angle slightly. So now it went from 4.2 to say 4 or maybe 3.9. Uh, 
the scale is not more precise than that, but it definitely changed a little bit if you look closely at it. And then the second option that you have, which normally is more efficient and makes a bigger change, is to loosen the screws from the upper clamp. Then you can also shift the upper clamp back and forth. You shift it backwards uh, for more caster, or you push it forward when you tighten the screws down to reduce the caster in this case. It's very easy. Okay, now it's actually reduced to 3.7 or 3.8, so we, we overdid it. But it was just to demonstrate to you that you can change the caster uh, because of the tolerance in the upper arms and the upper clamps by about 0.2 of a degree by pushing these components to the back or to the front when you tighten them down. So now we're going to push this backwards again while tightening it down. And it's back to 4.1 degrees, more or less, caster. You can play with this if you want to, but the main point here is that the caster basically only changes a lot in case the upper clamps are bent. That's the main reason for having these gauges. You can play with the tolerance a little bit, but to be honest, it's really difficult to feel a difference on the track if the caster is 4.1 or 3.9. So let's take this off and I'm going to repeat this step quickly on the rear axle of the car, just for you to have some complete clarity in how to do this. So you can actually leave these screws here in the uprights. Uh, that way you don't lose them or you don't have to search for them for the next time that you want to check on the caster. Okay, so let's check the rear axle. Like I mentioned earlier, the caster is adjustable both in front and rear on the X4. And I've spoken about the effect of these changes in the X X4 um, caster tech tip video, which you may have seen on YouTube. Okay, so we're gonna mount the, um, the gauge here to the left rear upright. It's important here to tighten it down completely, make sure that it's sitting flat and straight onto the upright. It's a tight fit, but it's for a good reason. Okay, so here I'm going to explain what caster value I have here. I have the three dot inserts in the rear upper clamps with the dots to the rear. So that setting will give me three and a half degrees of rear caster. And as you can see on the scale here, the arrow is pointing right between two and four, which means three, three and a half degrees. It's basically right where it needs to be, at 3.5 degrees of caster. And then again, if you want to adjust this depending on the tolerance, you can loosen the upper arm or the upper clamp, push it backwards or forward, perfectly adjust the caster. And if you fear that something is bent, you need to take the upper clamps off the car, put them on the board and check. Finally, double check the, the value with the caster gauges. So that's how easy it is to use these tools. I think they're very important to have in your in your pit box because uh, in case that you have a big crash you want to make sure that the car is perfectly straight. If the caster is off is um, most likely coming from a bent upper clamp which will cause the geometry to be off. Hence why it's important to check it properly and also to keep these gauges at hand to make sure that everything's straight and the car has the correct caster angle. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video. And if you have any questions or feedback, please let me know in the comments or send me a message. Thank you.